Hi everybody, welcome to VLSI point. So this video is about what is VLSI. After watching today's video, you will have a clear idea about VLSI technology. So if you are willing to start career in this domain, then watch complete video. Have you ever wondered how laptops and mobile phones have become so compact yet incredibly fast and smart at the same time? Well, the answer lies in a powerful technology called VLSI, that is very large scale integration. It allows millions to billions of transistors to be packed onto a single chip making modern electronic devices more powerful, efficient and smaller than ever before. So let's come to the point, what is VLSI? VLSI stands for Very Large Scale Integration. It is basically a technology of creating integrated circuits that is ICs by combining millions or even billions of electronic components like transistors, registers and capacitors onto a single tiny chip of silicon. Before VLSI, only a few thousand components could fit on a chip. But with VLSI technology, complex systems like processors, memory units and controllers can all fit on one small chip. Now, how it works? So VLSI design starts with circuit design where engineers decide how signals and components will interact. Then comes logic design and layout where software tools like Cadence, Synopsys and Mentor Graphics are used to place and connect millions of transistors efficiently. Once the design is finalized, it goes through fabrication, where it's manufactured using semiconductor processes at nanometer scales, like 7 nanometer, 5 nanometers, 3 nanometers. The smaller the transistors, the faster the chip works and the less power it consumes. So I hope now you got the basic idea. Let's see about the evolution of VLSI. So evolution is nothing but SSI, MSI, LSI and VLSI. So starting with SSI, that is small scale integration during 1960s. So it was the first stage of integration that is uh, 10 to 100 transistors on a single chip. Uh, it was used in basic calculators and basic control systems. And you can consider logic gate ICs like uh, 7400 series and or NOT gate. Second is MSI, that is medium scale integration in late 1960s and early 1970s. It had 100 to 1000 transistors per chip enabled more complex circuits like adders, multiplexer, decoders. Computing power has also increased uh, that time and the size was smaller. For example, you can consider a 4-bit ALU or simple memory chip. LSI, that is large scale integration during 1970s. So it had 1000 to 10,000 transistors per chip allowed full processors and memory blocks on a single chip. Uh, start of commercial processors, you can say, uh, to this era. And you can consider Intel 4004 or Intel 8080. Then coming to VLSI, that is very large scale integration in late 1970s. So millions of transistors on a single chip, then it has enabled complex chips like CPUs, GPUs and SOCs. Required automated tools like EDA for design and verification. It has reduced the power, size and cost and increased the speed like DRAM, SRAM and Intel Premium Series. So guys, this was about evolution of VLSI, how the journey has started and how day by day the technology become more powerful. So now you might wonder that where and how does VLSI fits. So VLSI is where electronics engineering turns ideas into silicon, creating the chips that drive the digital world. VLSI bridges the gap between hardware theory and real world application. It transforms logic circuits into tiny, high-performance chips used in smartphones, laptops, medical devices, vehicles, and even satellites. Electronics engineers who specialize in VLSI work on designing processors, memory, and SOCs, that is system on chips, that form the brain of every smart system today. So now we will see the impact of VLSI in today's modern world. So VLSI is at the core of digital revolution. 
इट पावर्स ऑलमोस्ट एवरी थिंग अराउंड अस लाइक यू कैन कंसिडर आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस सो चिप्स लाइक गूगल्स टी पी यू एंड एप्पल्स न्यूरल इंजन आर वी एल एस आई मार्वलस बिल्ट फॉर ए आई एंड मशीन लर्निंग दे अलाउ योर फोन टू रिकोगनाइज योर फेस अंडरस्टैंड योर वॉइस एंड ट्रांसलेट लैंग्वेज इंस्टेंटली अदर वन इज हेल्थ केयर VLSI enables wearable devices like smart watches that monitor heart rate, oxygen levels and sleep. It also derives medical imaging devices like MRI, CT scan and robotic surgery systems. In national defense, VLSI chips power radar system, then communication satellites, drones, missile guidance and encryption hardware. For environmental protection, low power VLSI design helps reduce the energy waste that is it's a uh, vital in electric vehicles solar systems and smart grids that efficiently manage renewable energy so in short vlsi is not just about making chips smaller it is about making the world smarter faster safer and more sustainable so you can see here the real life application yes smartphones and laptops that we all are using So VLSI enables the design of powerful processors and memory chips that allow smartphones and laptops to run fast, multitask smoothly and remain compact in size. Smart devices like IoT. So in smart watches, home assistants and connected appliances, VLSI allows real-time data processing with minimal power consumption, making them intelligent and efficient. in automotive electronics modern cars use vlsi based chips for features like automatic braking parking assistance and ev battery control improving safety and user experience ada system requires compact and lightweight electronics so yes vlsi allows the integration of multiple functions like vision control and communication on a single chip saving the space and power in consumer electronics smart tvs digital cameras and gaming consoles rely on vlsi chips for high speed graphics seamless connectivity and responsive user interface in telecommunication from 4g 5g base stations to smartphones vlsi helps transmit data at lightning speed while supporting high performance network equipments in ai hardware vlsi makes ai hardware fast compact and smart enough to fit into the palm of your hand now we will see current key trends in vlsi so the vlsi industry is evolving rapidly with new design methods and technologies that make chips more powerful efficient and specialized so here are the most important threads shaping the future ai and machine learning chips so yes modern devices need to process massive amounts of data quickly special chips like npus that is neural processing units and tpus that is tensor processing units are being designed specifically for deep learning and ai applications improving performance while saving energy also you have chiplet architectures so instead of designing one large chip engineers now design smaller chiplets that can be interconnected to work as one This approach lowers cost, improves manufacturing yield and allows different chiplets like CPU, GPU, AI to be combined flexibly. In advanced technology nodes like 3 nanometers, 2 nanometers, the industry is pushing the limit of miniaturization. Companies like TSMC and Intel are developing 3 nanometers and 2 nanometers chip which pack more transistors per area. providing faster speeds and lower power consumption which is uh, crucial for smartphones and data centers in 3d ics and packaging so 3d integrated circuits stack multiple layers of chips vertically this reduces signal delay increases the data transfer speed and saves space so a game changer for high performance computing and ai servers in low power vlsi design so with the rise of iot that is internet of things devices wearables and smart home gadgets 
engineers are focusing on ultra low power circuits that can run for months of tiny batteries so guys research is advancing in quantum vlsi and brain inspired neuromorphic architectures where chips mimic human brain neurons to achieve faster and more efficient computations after knowing this much details about vlsi i know you guys are thinking about the scope of vlsi in the coming years so the scope of vlsi is tremendous both globally and in india because almost every emerging technology depends on efficient and specialized chips so talking about the career and industry opportunities so there will be high demand for vlsi engineers semiconductor companies like intel amd qualcomm nvidia broadcom apple and samsung are constantly hiring vlsi professionals for chip design and verification different job roles are there like front end design that is rtl design synthesis and simulation in back end design you will have physical design floor planning and time enclosure in verification and validation they ensure that chip works as intended in dft that is design for test they design chips to be easily tested after fabrication and in eda tool development it uh, it is creating design automation softwares uh, used by other engineers also there are opportunities in startups and r&d growth so many startups are now designing ai accelerators automotive soc's and wearable processors india is also seeing growth in chip design startups focusing on custom hardware for ai and iot there are multiple government and defense initiatives so the indian semiconductor mission that is ism under the digital india program aims to make india a global hub for chip design and manufacturing the defense sector is investing in indigenous and secure chip design to reduce dependency on foreign technology there is a worldwide shortage of skilled vlsi engineers so as demand for semiconductor grows exponentially this field promises high salaries strong job stability and global career mobility in academia and research universities and r&d centers are collaborating with industries to advance research in 3d ics nano electronics and quantum computing ensuring continuous innovation So overall guys VLSI is the foundation of modern electronics deriving innovation in AI healthcare defense and green technology with continuous advancements and government support VLSI offers limitless opportunities for students passionate about electronics and technology so it's a field where creativity meets precision where you don't just design chips you help shape the future of technology so this is about today's video guys i hope now you have a better idea about vlsi technology what is vlsi how it works and why it is important for today's modern world as i told you this is the vlsi starter pack so watch all the videos of this playlist one by one that will make you understand about vlsi domain in depth concept about the technology and how to start career in this field if you have any doubt let me know in the comment box or you can join one to one career guidance session with me you can see here 1000 plus students have already joined and got their personalized road map to start career in vlsi so what are you waiting for join the session today In upcoming videos we will talk about VLSI design flow and what all subjects are required to start career in this field. So stay tuned guys. See you soon. Don't forget to subscribe VLSI point and please like the video. It gives me a motivation to provide more informative content.